Hi guys, I've been experimenting with OBS lately and uh, trying to get the best settings for YouTube to stream and uh, it was always running like crap. I went on all the, all the different websites, recommended settings and it never really was good because you know they recommend their settings, they don't list their, their system specs so that was a pointless uh, thing. But uh, here I'm running an i5, 3570k, 8GB of RAM, GTX 780 and I find these settings to be absolutely silky smooth. All right, so we're going to go to encoding. I use times uh, 264, uh, UCBR, quality balance 8, max bit rate 3.5 um, megabytes upload speed. But remember, that's based on your own. You have to do a speed test and see what you can do. I wouldn't go any more than that, even if you can, because you've got to think of your audience and whether or not they can actually you know view a video at that speed uh, audio I left the same uh, broadcast settings I didn't change anything in here I just put in the uh, key path uh, YouTube gaming I left it how it was video settings my monitor is uh, 60 Hertz 1920 1080p I downscale to 1.5 to 1280 by 720 uh, by a linear fastest and 30 FPS and honestly you want to do that if you only have an i5 because it really does make a big difference downscaling it and the quality is still really good anyway uh, the advanced settings uh, use multi-threaded optimizations priority class normal scene buffering 700 hang on a minute uh, allow other modifiers on hotkeys blah blah two uh, times 264 CPU preset is very fast and coding profile is high. This one here is the most important. Key frame interval is on 2. Any more than that, and with an i5, you may get stutters or just poor performance during streaming. So, yeah, 2 is the absolute sweet spot. Uh, use CFR, uh, you can see the rest, I mean, all unchecked. And yeah, that's. That's basically it. That's what I use now. I've oh, actually I've also set a file path um, to a different disk to my operating system. So you know for recording and stuff, I named it uh, vid.mp4, so I can instantly view it back rather than have it in the FLV files that it does by standard. I did that on both. I did vid.mp4 and vid2.mp4. Uh, let's go and just boot something up. Let's boot up the forest. And I mean, what you see here is the stream quality. So let's preview, let's start recording. What you see here is the actual stream quality while it's working, and it should be silky smooth. That beep you just heard, by the way, is the dodgy audio on Windows 10. Some games just have a lot of issues. Same as apps as well on the Windows Store, but I guess Microsoft will update that. But anyway, that's another topic, so let's get this going. It takes a minute to load. These early access games, you know how they be. So there we go. And that's recording now. As you can see, it's not even affecting frame rates, because it's. And this game is very CPU intensive as well. Just have a mooch about for a minute, and uh, you'll see the quality that you get here is the exact quality that you get in the stream, and it will run absolutely silky smooth. And don't forget, I'm also recording with Shadow Play as well, which so that's two cord recording devices, and OBS is still silky smooth with these settings. So let's end this now. And go to uh, OBS. Uh, stop recording. I just thought of something quite bad. It's actually going to pick up my mic, but it's no issue. I'll just uh, mute that. So OBS. Let's click that. What you see here is the actual. Uh, so let's uh, just get in the game. Just skip it. You can see, I mean, when you're streaming, 
that's the exact quality that it runs like and I was also recording with shadow play so yeah these settings big thumbs up so yeah I hope this uh, helps a few of you out anyway but uh, right now I'm off have a good day guys and bye bye